So for today, we're going to be looking at my Guardian specifically. I have a new set for all of them called the Iron Lord sets. Uh, and you guys will see a pattern with all of them, considering that all of them are not only going to have Iron Banner pieces, but most of them will have Iron Banner shaders. Aside from the Hunter, you guys will see why in a bit. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe really does help the channel grow. Uh, I've noticed that a lot of people that come to my channel are not subscribed. So if you guys can do me a favor and, and subscribe, like the video or anything like that, I would really appreciate it. Other than that, let's get right into it. So this is my Hunter. Uh, obviously, I'm wearing the Precursor Vex Chrome. Uh, the reason I'm using that is because the Dragon Shadow Ornament uh, actually does not change color for the gold in the navy here. Uh, so I decided to use the Precursor Vex Chrome because that one not only has navy but also has gold as well. And in the in the armor set, you guys can see that like there's some navy here, and the navy here just match really well. Plus the gold, I I feel like the cloth right here matches perfectly with this up here, which is why I'm using it. Uh, so for the helmet, we are using the helmet from the seasonal activity of Season of the Chosen. I'll have the name here, the Prefacture set, I think it's called or whatever. Definitely one of my favorite helmets. The funny thing is, this isn't like the last helmet I chose because originally I thought about using Shadow's Mask, uh, the Iron Fellowship Cask, the Pathfinder's Helm, the Way Lawrence Iron Mask, which was almost chosen. The oh here the Empyrean Cartographer I thought about Mask of Optimacy, uh, Lux Visage which I actually love but does not look Iron Banner ish which is which makes sense. This one specifically the Nemean Cask I thought about if only it was gold here I would definitely have chosen it. Uh, I already I already talked about like the weird shader choices for the Nemean set in my Eververse armor set so if you guys want to see that video I'll have it in the links below but. The only, th the, on the only thing that really did look really, really good with it was the tr Iron Truage set, which makes sense considering the cloak and the helmet are both from the Iron Truage set. And I didn't want to use this because I felt like I was getting, I was being pigeonholed to use this helmet. So I was like, fuck you, I'm not using that. Um, the other helmet that actually looks pretty good with it is actually the Solstice Mask, in my opinion. It's... The helmet is not big enough where it just feels like I'm embodying every piece of the every like space of the cloak like the like the Waylorn set because I feel like this is too big like you guys can see it's already clipping a little like it feels too big for the cloak but the the Solstice Max I feel is just just enough that it looks good and I feel like the the cracks give it a little bit more personality. Uh, but yeah, I don't have synth, synth weave straps, so that's why I don't have it. Uh, and even if I did, I don't know if I like it more than, uh, more than, uh, the, the Perfectious helmet. Let me know what you guys think, Hunters. Uh, which one do you guys think it looks better? I like this one a lot, though. I'm not gonna lie. So, arms, we are using the Season of the Splicer Light Kin arm, arms, and... I love these arms. These arms are my favorite. I have these unlocked on all the characters because they, they look really cool. And the reason I chose these arms is so I can combine it with uh, with the, the fur back here. The chest piece, like I said, it's the Dragon's Shadow ornament, which is the whole reason I'm using this shader uh, because I wanted to combine the colors and whatnot. Boots are the Season of the Splicer Iron Banner set. Again, I've already reviewed this armor set, so I'm not going to speak too much into this. If you guys want to see it, I'll have it with the Eververse video, most likely in the comments. But this set, definitely one of my favorites aside from the cloak. And again, the other cool part is the fact that there's so much navy here that it really shows up here. If you are aware that this is navy, then you guys will, most people would be like, oh, that's really cool. He's matching the navy here. So this... The navy part is more of a if you know you know type thing. So last but not least, we have the cloak, which is the iron truage cloak, and this is the cool part. I didn't see this before, but if you wear the the iron truage cloak, the second one, it actually turns the fur into white. So if you really wanted to, you could actually use a white white shader instead, because that actually looks really cool. So. Just giving you guys some ideas if you guys want to cop this set but that's pretty much it for my hunter set it looks really cool in my opinion every all of this came up to like 
like not even random chance more of a like one piece i finished one piece then the other piece came in like fast like the first thing i thought of was like i, I want to use tamat which is the ornament and the only shader i know that goes with it is the precursor of x chrome and then i think i saw someone use the this chest piece with the cloak and i immediately was like oh, i'm gonna use that and started using the arms then the boots and then everything just came into place really fast so yeah hunters let me know what you guys think uh we'll get on to my titan and this is my titan so my titan is pretty cool in my opinion i will i will tell you guys on titans i know you guys are already gonna be saying she looks so small oh my god or he looks so small you guys got to realize that i have a i have a female titan so most of the armor sets do look a little bit smaller on her um so i'm not i know i know people are gonna say that but just be aware that like if you have a male titan it's gonna look a little bit more bulkier specifically the arms so just understand that like if you do want to make this look cool just know that a male is just gonna make it look cooler because it's gonna look bulkier but i actually do fuck with this armor i think it looks super cool regardless uh so the helmet is the nemean helm I've already made a review of the helm, like I said on my hunter, on my when we were talking about my hunter. So if you guys want to see it, I'll have it in the comments below. But essentially, I chose this one because I wanted some regalness, but not overwhelming regalness. And what I mean by that is like this one looks regal for me, but not enough to like, like at this point. I feel like this is too much regalness. It's the fact that there's so much adornments. There's like this uh, rope thing here. Like every, there's, it's a lot in my opinion. This one on the other hand, I think the only parts that are really ornamental are like the wings and then like the things here. But other than that, it looks like a mask a Titan would wear, a mask a Iron Lord would wear in my opinion. Uh, and again, I hate this lip thing here. I hate that shit. For the arms, we are using the Iron Pledge ornament, which is from Curse of Osiris. So this is unfortunately not attainable. Uh, this is pretty cool. The only unfortunate part is, and you need to be aware of this if you want to use these, is the fact that the armor piece or the armor plates do not change color. So if you do want to use this, just put in, uh, just be aware that you're gonna have to use a shader that has that. Thankfully, the Canis coat actually does look like it belongs with it so i'm pretty happy with that uh not only that canis coat is from iron banner uh it's from season of the splicer iron banner so just be aware of that speaking of season of the splicer we are using the light kin robe or chest piece i don't even know what that's called either way looks super super cool oh my god i love this chest piece so the reason i'm using this chest piece is because of the fur obviously but it it's also because it comes like this. There's not a lot of armor sets that have, actually this, I think this is the only armor set we have that the fur comes out like that, which is super cool. The only unfortunate part, and some of you may have already noticed, is that the it takes shaders horribly, specifically this here. Whoever designed this know that I hate you with a burning passion because like, <clears throat> If you really wanted to, you could have just done both sides. You could made made it symmetrical where this this right here and this right here are changing colors with it. But like no, like you had to, you really just had to do this and it's nasty as fuck. But for those of you who want to use this chess piece but don't want to like have two different colors, I will tell you there's a lot of shaders in the game that do enough of a good job to make it seem like they're the same color and there's one that actually just combines all of it which is this one right here so if you don't like the fact that it doesn't change color you could wear the dreaming spectrum shader and it won't it i was really thinking about using this shader because of that but i really wanted to use a iron banner shader but like i said look at this it looks super cool like so cool so I wanted to use an iron, iron banner shader and that's this is the one I came up with. For the boots, we have the Jensen Knight Greaves from IO, which is unfortunately not obtainable anymore, but I think uh Zerst still sells it or you could get it somewhere, I don't remember where. But super dope, uh definitely one of my favorite boots considering I have multiple builds with this shader or this uh boot. The only thing I'm going to tell you is that I think these boots are a little bit better. But it does not give Iron Banner feels in my opinion. It kind of does and it kind of doesn't. But I, I, I knew that like the Jensen, the Jensen Knight would make it look really good. Which is why I chose it. 
Last but not least, we have the mark from Season of the Splicer Iron Banner. And I love this. I, again, I'm not going to talk too much about this one because I already made a review on it. Again, comments in the, and for the video. But if the bells weren't like right there, if the bells were like back here, I think this would look even better. Part of the reason why I used it is because it has fur. But the other reason is because I, I think the waist is very clean. So let's get on to the warlock and then i'll give you my final thoughts and last but not least we have my warlock which there's so okay so there's so much to talk about for my warlock first and foremost i know that i'm wearing the lightkin robes i know people are going to be like that's that's clearly fallen bro why are you wearing this uh the reason why is because there's a lot of fur and i think it looks perfect with the boots but i do understand that people would say that so i there's another choice where i was like well i could just wear this one which and then a different helmet obviously but that's like right on the nose and i wanted more fur which is why i chose the other one but then i know and understand again lichen robes they're fallen so i thought about well i could use this one with uh these arms over here this one i could do something like this which this one was the original idea but then I understand people would be like, but that's clearly an Awoken themed armor set. Why are you wearing it? So then I'm just like, man, fuck you guys. I don't care. Either way, uh, it, like to be real, if you guys, if it, if it did bug you, you could do something like this. <clears throat> do something like this with this helmet right here. I understand some people would have been like, why aren't you using the Felwinter's helm? That's clearly Iron Banner. It's like, that's a little too on the nose though. Cause it's literally Felwinter's helmet. It's literally an Iron Lord's helmet. So, I mean, if you want, I mean, go ham. I'm not going to tell you you're right or wrong because I'm not even that, like, like picky or not picky. I'm not that judgmental about it. Like, if you want to do it, bro, it looks super dope, especially if you do it with something like this. I feel like this one looks really good with it, to be quite honest. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, I don't want to I didn't want to choose fellow Winter's helm because I feel like I felt like that was a safe choice. But again, if you want to do it, hands down, go for it, bro. I'm not judging you for it. Do it, man do you but again i went with ash raven's iron hood because i love it and it's a really good helmet uh it's from warmind so unfortunately you can't get this helmet anymore but there's other helmets helmets that you can wear that it still would look good like i think i think this one <clears throat> even though i'm not the biggest fan of it would still look pretty good with it uh wait mm, this one this one would look good with it i don't i think i think the gold doesn't match with the other gold so this one would probably be the best but there's other stuff you could wear obviously <clears throat> i'm not gonna go through them all like this one's probably something a person would wear uh i would stay away from this maybe this one's also pretty cool but other, yeah like i said i chose this one just because i really like it and it gives me the iron lord look for the arms, I'm using the season of the oh the season of the lost ornaments just because I wanted to match with the with the bandages on the arms for the lightkin robes, which is why I chose it. <clears throat> uh, again, I've already said why I'm using the lightkin robes. I feel like it looks really good because it has fur. Not only that, I really like the fact that the chest piece and the boots also have a cutoff for the red. So what I mean by that is like, there's obviously black here and then there's red and then it cuts off to here for black. So I, I love that both sides have that, which is why I chose it. Uh, boots, I already explained why I'm using these boots. The cutoff up down here and the cutoff up here looks really cool. Uh, but I also like the texture of the boots. I think that looks really cool. And last but not least, I'm using the Iron Truage bond which is the first iron truage bond this the second one does not change uh the wolf's mane the other one just changes the the gold in the middle which is unfortunate so that's pretty much it well like let me know what you guys think i definitely like this set a lot uh but if i were to add like an exotic to it because you, if you guys don't know titans didn't get an exotic either which means that that one was just really rough to do around it would probably be an arm exotic. I just don't know which arm exotic it would be. Because, again, you could do this one, which doesn't look bad at all. It looks really cool. But I don't use Fell Winter's Helm a lot because I don't like the exotic it got. Or the, the exotic, the Warlord's End. I think it's whatever. So it would probably be an arm because I use a lot of arm exotics. So 
yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below hunters warlocks titans which one was the best let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below uh we're gonna have a lot of content coming up um i'm not even talking about like the 30th anniversary because that's a whole thing within itself i will have the vex set probably on the next video after this one We'll have a fallen slash scavenger look, which I already have one for my Titan, and I'm working on my, my Hunter and Warlock. I have the best weapons and dis most disappointing weapons of Season of the Lost, which uh, for my newer subscribers, you guys might not know this, but I actually cover more than just fashion. I cover weapons in the game. I cover everything, pretty much a lot of it. Uh, the only thing I don't really cover is like really technical stuff for that i leave it to like the actual professionals of of the game because i don't know anything about it uh so like channels like fallout plays asked across stuff like that like when it gets to the nitty gritty of like percentages that's where i get off because i'm not really good with percentages but yeah i will have those videos coming up soon i apologize that i haven't been posting a lot of content it's just a uh, um i'm not gonna lie to you guys depression got me really hard this uh past couple of weeks so I'm finally better now, thankfully, and this is not like, this is not new, I, I, I handle, I like live with depression, so if you guys see me not post, it, it might be that I'm just dealing with some shit, so be safe guys, and I will, t I will talk to you guys later.